AI. I want to share a quick thought about how the whole concept of AI is changing the scene of photography across the world. Now earlier in the day I came across this uh, launch of uh, one more photo editing tool called Luminar AI um, and based on what I saw there and what I've been reading over the last several months or probably I would say even several um, like last couple of years to be more precise I just want to put in my thoughts on how things are changing and how things are changing for good or maybe how things are changing for bad but flashback to the days when actually the first major thing I would say uh, came in uh, probably from Google in the form of computation photography it's not that the Google was the first one to do but I'm just trying to link things which are making life easier for people so one of the things that really caught my attention um, a few years back was this whole concept of uh, computational photography by Google wherein this thing is there in uh, all of the Google phones uh, especially the Google manufactured phone which is a pixel and apparently this uh, the G cam which is not available for any other Android phones but that kind of revolutionized the way the photos can be taken the quality of the images that you can get the quality of uh, the details that you can get and most so importantly the type of images that you can get in low light that whole night uh, photography or the night scene enhancement and all those things that was kind of like a triggering point and these cameras were like not like a super high resolution like 20 30 or 40 megapixel these are like some basic 10 12 megapixel cameras but this whole aspect of computational photography is what was changing the game and it it's still like uh, Google uh, Pixel cameras are still some of the best cameras out there in the market. Then we also have um, a lot of softwares in the market which runs totally uh, on the concept of uh, AI. Uh, one of the first ones which caught my attention was this thing called uh, Photo Lemur. I think the version 3 is what was there. I, I still remember picking up one of uh, the version, I don't know, version 2 or version 3. I still have it running, but I hardly use it anymore. Uh, this basically is like a simple um, uh, noobs kind of a tool wherein you just open this tool and open your image in it and it does some analysis uh, based on the type of system that you have. It might take anywhere from like say three to five seconds or sometimes like uh, six seven seconds and end of the day what it will do is basically it will enhance the photo for you based on what it finds like if it finds faces it will enhance the face it, if it finds greenery or uh, forest or mountains it will enhance that so it has its own algorithm the way it works and quite often it does decent job i would not say it's extraordinary but for somebody um, like who's kind of I would say new to photography and they don't want to fiddle around with too many dials in uh, any of the photo editing tools like Photoshop or uh, Lightroom or any of the tools I think for those type of people uh, it was good uh, and they just want to like make their image pop before they posted it on uh, Instagram or Facebook or anywhere and it had some basic I think some three or four filters presets kind of a thing but uh, for the type of tool that it is I don't think so the concept of preset was really important uh, the enhancement that it was doing was decent but again not something which caught my attention and the next one was I think probably I would say is um, the, the most happening one uh, rather two of them and the first one is this whole set of tools by Topaz Labs so they have something called uh, sharpen AI they have something called video enhance AI they have something called denoise AI and if you really see the samples what they have posted it on the web and if you see some of the reviews that are there on YouTube also the type of job that uh, these um, tools or applications are able to do is phenomenal I mean it's like if you see the before and after you just feel like okay it's like can a photo can a bad photo be really improved to such an extent that that's the type of impression that you get when you use such tools I mean it's not like you can uh, take a completely um, delete worthy image and make it like a, a award-winning image but definitely something uh, way back in the time with like a slight amount of camera shake or like you were forced to take in a high ISO or anything like that in good old days it's like we had certain limitations up to what extent you can actually go and edit those photos but now with the influx of uh, AI or artificial intelligence things have changed so much that uh, the output out of these tools are really something which is which will make you go up and uh, 
definitely one the, the main one that i want to talk about uh, rather the pre, uh, the previous version of it is the luminar so i've been using luminar for uh, quite a few years now I've been, i started using it when it was version 3 now there is version 4 which is running this is one particular um, tool which is getting literally enhancement day in and day out like i've been seeing it from the day one of the luminar 3 launch or probably i think even slightly before that also and it's it's really like what it used to do for a single image edit and what it can do now i mean i'm not even talking about the luminar ai but what it can do now it's something which will definitely unbelievable uh, especially the i like the features which are there in um, the luminar 4 uh, I don't want to go through all of them like it 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 will almost become like I'm reading the spec sheet but the AI sky replacement AI portrait enhance those are some of the things which are really fantastic I personally have used and continue to use some of these features when I'm doing uh, my photo editing but not really to such an extent that I totally rely on them and I, I just say that I can't live without it but the type of output the type of quality the type of finishing that this tool gives is totally unbelievable uh, if it was like say like five years ago or ten years ago you want to do sky replacement then i think it was literally a herculean task uh, at that time but now things have changed so much you just pull out an image uh, in luminar 4 go to ai sky replacement to begin with just use whatever uh, the default skies that they provide in the tool itself it's as simple as like one click i would just go to the drop down select the type of sky you want to like a bright sky you want like a sunset or you want a night sky they have like all options just select one of them and then like within a fraction of a second you see that applied and selection everything is taken care of no complex selection no masking nothing even the exposure matching everything happens if you really want to tweak something you have an option but the way the tool is is literally fantastic now what actually caught my attention today is this new version of luminar uh, that is apparently launching anytime soon so they are running a pre-order kind of thing and uh, i just came across this in a twitter and i just immediately opened up the um, skylum website and i went into this particular page related to luminar ai that is what it is called so luminar 4 is different from luminar ai so the luminar ai is a completely ai driven tool it's it's completely luminar 4 has a lot of ai stuff but it has everything that a photo editor needs like it you can import photos you can organize photos you can rate it you can edit it you can export it the way you want and you can do photo manipulation like the way i told like sky replacement portrait enhance eye enhance and all those stuff all these things are there so luminar 4 is more of like i would probably personally say it as like a lightroom equivalent but luminar ai it's, it's a completely different tool and um, what surprised me is like it has like what they call it as like it's a one-stop solution so the way uh, they um, are promoting or highlighting this particular uh, tool is like it automate most of the tasks which you might have done manually that's exactly what they state in their website and uh, they have different categories like uh, portrait enhancing landscape enhancing and stuff like that and each of these enhancement has sub modules which are again ai modules like i'm talking about modules because i come from tech field and i know these are all like that's what they even call it uh, at the skylum office uh, development center also so for example uh, things related to um, the portrait enhancement okay uh, they call it as like a magic touch for people and portraits and the sub modules that they have is like body ai skin ai face ai iris ai and even bokeh effect and i just saw some of the example and i was like wow is it like it, it almost feels like for the before and after photo somebody has spent like probably two three hours or something more than that to actually go ahead and do all this um, editing and then they kept it there it's, it's so nice i mean i personally really want to try this out uh, i want to pre-order it hopefully that price is still valid by the time i go back and i pre-order it later in the day today but uh, the second thing that caught my attention is this landscape enhancement the landscape enhancement has something called uh, atmosphere ai structure ai and sky uh, the sky i think the sky ai is something which they have copied forward from uh, the luminar 4 itself but again this is like literally a one touch enhancement wherein you load a photo you tell you select the kind of atmosphere you want like a moody image you want a winter image you want like a sunset image or whatever like it will do all the 
editing for you literally in one click that's what they're telling it's literally like you load the photo and you have the output it's as simple as that now seeing all this thing uh, why i'm talking about this so much like i mean this is not a new tool ai stuff is not topaz has been for a long time but what really prompted me to do this video is like looking at this uh, I, I mean i do, I do remember uh, there was an app i, I think it's still there in uh, app store and play store i got this from one of the whatsapp uh, group that i was a part of a recommendation so basically what happens is if you open this app and you point it at, at something like you are taking a photograph of a portrait like of, of a person or a scenery and all so the way the ai thing works there is it will do all the calculation regarding your composition and it will tell you based on the lighting if you want to tweak anything to underexpose or overexpose the image and when you're taking the uh, photos of people it will tell you when is the right time to click or whether their image is good or not like it's like if they're smiling and if they're not smiling if they're blinked an eye or if they're their side rotation or whatever it is it detects it real time okay and when you're clicking it it tells you like you have to hold it in such a way that probably I, I don't remember i think it was like a green tick mark or the green box which will glow which will indicate that the framing everything is fine the exposure is fine all that you have to do is click photo now you have clicked a photo like this you put it up into uh, you load it up in a tool like luminar ai and pick up a phone and you just like turn around and tilt and all the stuff and you know that the phone will tell when is the right time to click and once it is clicked the image you have to take it into a ai tool and it knows knows to fix any issues that like something like it is not sharp or something like if it has too hazy or something like it requires a sky replacement the tool is doing everything so where is your creativity what happened to all the creativity that you could have uh, expressed in your photography so that is something which is really bothering so for professionals again um, i do see a lot of uh, professionals are slowly getting inclined towards a tool because that makes them uh, uh, do a quick turnaround times but again that will make the image look very stereotypical and it probably will become there will be a time when a uh, few years from now the moment you see a photograph instead of telling wow it is beautiful the light is so nice and all i think the discussion will go on something like okay this might have been processed in this particular tool this might have been enhanced in that particular tool i think the discussion will start going there uh, now and even in the past um, whenever there was a photo manipulation or over editing of photograph a very typical term that used to come up is like is this photo photoshopped now i think in future that will become more obvious and i think the word photoshopped will die down and one of these tool uh, will start popping up in everybody's uh, uh, sentences wherein they say like has this been enhanced using ai or has it been captured using ai so that is something which I thought like is a little bit of bothering factor like as I told you all this technology enhancement all this artificial intelligence all this aspect of machine learning is this really the death of creativity is something which time will answer so I thought I'll just quickly make this video and talk about what I just saw earlier in the day on the interweb that about this particular ai tool and what it can do i was really amazed by looking at the before and after photographs so that's exactly the reason why i forced myself to do this video but um, having said that uh, i think time will tell what happens and how we will embrace all these things whether it is good for us or whether it's bad for us and all those things as i told time will tell thank you so much for listening and hope you like this content uh, if you really liked it i would uh, suggest you to click the like button and if this is the type of content that you like, then you might probably want to subscribe as well. I know it's been a while uh, that I uploaded anything on this channel. I was busy creating content for a couple of other channels and um, sort of like uh, working on a few other stuff which kept me busy. But photography is something which I've been doing continuously and I've never uh, gone away from doing anything related to photo and video. But I think this is the right time to come back and uh, this I thought like was a good uh, topic to talk about today and um, make my presence felt again on the creative zest thank you so much see you again soon bye bye